Alrighty, welcome back to the channel, Forgotten Angler fans. Larry G is back in the house. I got a little how-to for you uh, on this video. And the um, reason I haven't done a video lately, it's kind of dark here and under the house. The reason I haven't done a video lately is uh, my hard drive, for some reason. Oh, something just rolled out there in the creek. My hard drive, for some reason, my hard drive stopped working and I had hundreds and hundreds of video files on it. Um, a lot of stuff backlogged for videos I'm gonna make here on the Forgotten Angler channel. But I was able to kind of work through it for an old guy and figured out I had to just delete the software uh, that my external hard drive works off of that I keep all my video files on and reinstall the updated version and then boom it started working again it was a miracle you know for an octogenarian for a guy that's collecting social security anyway on this video I got new glasses psyched about that on this video we are going to do a Boston Whaler this is a 2003 Boston Whaler Montauk 17 footer and on this video we're going to do a windshield install because our old windshield that the boat came with was terrible it was all spider web you cannot see through the thing so it's been replaced with a brand new perfectly clear windshield and this is a tutorial on how i got that done again my theory is if that guy can do it i can do it you can do it it's pretty easy just got to be a little careful drilling the holes and uh, this is how i got it done so enjoy the video Hopefully, if you ever have to install a windshield on your Boston Whaler Montauk or any other Boston Whaler or other, any other boat you own, uh, this will help you do it. It's pretty easy. Uh, one thing I didn't mention in the video is that the, um, the new windshield came undrilled. So um, the company that we got the windshield from provides the drill bit for the new windshield. So you drill the right holes. And uh, it worked perfectly, and everything turned out just right. So here it is. New windshield on the Boston Whaler. The new fishing machine. And uh, we've been out in the Gulf a couple of times, uh, trying to find some reefs and whatnot and fishing. Those videos will be coming up someday soon. Larry G, the Forgotten Angler, thanks for checking back in. Um, if this helps you out, please leave comments. If you have questions about anything, please leave comments, and I'll answer them the best I can. Give the channel a like, and of course, subscribe. That's how we keep this thing rolling, is more people paying attention, more people asking questions. So give it a like and subscribe. It'd be much appreciated. Larry G, the Forgotten Angler, from right here at Camp Far Away in the Big Bend area of Florida. I'm out. Enjoy the vid. All right, guys, gals. Uh, welcome back to the Forgotten Angler. Today, I'm doing a project, and I, I got... Halfway through it and realized I probably should have videoed this and um, done a YouTube tutorial. Today I am replacing the windshield, our old windshield on our Boston Whaler. Um, you can see it's all spider webbed and scratched and this is a 2003 windshield. So it's 20 years old and we're replacing it because we couldn't see through it. It's dangerous. So... Let me bring you out here to the boat. Pretty simple, basic removal. Um, seven screws, Phillips heads. Uh, these grommets protect your holes. Um, there's spots to screw in here. They're already tapped. And what I'm gonna do, so we took off, just unscrewed those seven screws. Windshield just slips right out of there. And we custom ordered a replacement windshield, which we just got neighbors are coming in it's fourth of july weekend and um so that i don't know what we'll do with it if we need to keep it as a spare or not anyway so um upd plastics out of davie florida is who fabricated the new windshield um probably took i'm gonna say it's been four or five months since we ordered it they're pretty far out on orders so the new windshield came bubble wrapped in the box wrapped in ceramic it came um, just one piece, to pl piece of plastic. It was not pre-drilled to fit our boat. So that's the biggest part of this project. 
Um, basically what I did was, and you can get, uh, you know, painter's tape to hold this in place on the boat. I didn't have any. So I handheld, show you this. And I left the, the plastic wrap on here so it wouldn't get scratched up. But um, I, I just handheld this in position. Uh, it wasn't that easy. But I just wanted to get one screw hole lined up, which I did. And I marked it with a um, magic marker, a Sharpie. Just put a little black mark there. And before I started drilling, I measured the height of all these holes on the old windshield. So this, just measured how high these were and they were all, center was three quarters inch on all of them. I don't know if you can see that. So I marked my spot here at three quarters of an inch high, drilled the first hole, screwed the windshield in with one screw. Um, the windshield comes with these grommets that go into the holes. And then I attached the windshield with the one screw. Now it was still kind of unstable, but I was able to hold it in place and mark in line where each of the old screws went on the old windshield. Came back in and then measured all these hole centers, three quarters of an inch center hole, which is what they all were on the old windshield. And then, you know, then you have to drill. So drilled all the holes and they got to be pretty close. They might not be exact, but there's a little room to play with, on each and then install the grommets. So, and they're super soft rubber. And let me make sure this is pointing down so you can see it, but I've got all seven now. Once you get them started going through, you just pull the other end through. So now I've got all my grommets in place. And we've got rubber washers that came with the kit here. And my screws, this is what it's gonna look like. So this is my old screw with the flat mount washer. And we're just gonna put these through the grommets like so, screw them into the console of the boat and we'll be good to go with a brand new crystal clear windshield, which will be awesome. All right, so these are all my previous mounting screws. And all that the old windshield had, it was a smaller hole on the old windshield and these, um, these metal flat set washers rested up against the plexiglass. But you get these rubber washers with the new windshield and you drill a bigger hole. So, oops, just gonna put these all on. Seven screws, three in the front, two on each side. And then we're gonna set the windshield in place and start screwing these in one at a time. Let's go ahead and grab one so we can get going and started. That's going to sit right here like so. Got my Phillips head right here and let's just get this first one started. Okay, so that's now lightly screwed in and I'm not going to over tighten these. I don't want to, I don't want to torque these in super hard. Let's get our second one in here. Looks like we're pretty close. Oh, and I've got two washers on here. I don't want that. I don't know how that happened. Got a little overzealous. So again, I don't, I didn't expect these to line up perfectly. That's catching, which is good. Okay, well, it was catching. Let me loosen this up a little bit. Give me a little more room to work with here. And actually, let me, let me get one in the side so it'll hold everything upright. These look like they're gonna line up just fine. Okay, yeah, that one's caught. And now we'll go and try and get this one started. <laughs> oh, 
understanding that this is like fabricated outside of Boston Whalers playground. So we're just going to put these in and get them started and then we'll work on tightening up everything. But everything came out pretty close, so I didn't expect it to be exact. I'm not an engineer. All seven screws are in. The windshield is in place. It ain't going nowhere. That's super solid. And we can see again. Yeah. I like it. Okay, well, that's your Boston Whaler Montauk 17-footer windshield installation. Um, pretty close on all the holes when I drilled them. This one is a little off-center, but I still got the screw to catch, so we're good. And that's not going anywhere. So... That's it. Oh. Hope you enjoyed that video. And hopefully it helps you out. It's hot out here today. It's going to be 90 something degrees. But uh, there's your Boston Whaler. Montauk 17 footer. Windshield replacement. And hopefully that helps you out. Um, again, the most important part of the process is just to make sure you get these holes close. They don't have to be perfect. And we're good to go. For another 20 years. Right here at Camp Far Away. Larry G, the Forgotten Angler. Hope that helps you out. If you ever have to replace the windshield on your Boston Whaler, that's how you get her done. I'm out. What a luxury.